All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Minecraft. It's been over a week since I did a chill stream of Minecraft. And if you remember the last time we played, I did some significant home improvements. Completely expanding my storage space and making it so I can even double or even triple up on the storage capacity of my home if and when I choose to do so. For now, it's good. But, you know, that was good. It was a good improvement in my opinion. Um, so many people are wondering what's next. I think the next thing I'm going to do... I'm going to harvest crops, which I haven't done in a long time. Like, my poor garden here has basically been, like, neglected. So I think I want to harvest crops. And then I'm going to decide what I want to do next. So here's here's the discussion. Okay. What do I want to do next in this game? Because I've been thinking about it. Um, The bottom line is, you know, I've done a lot of home improvements, a lot of cool things. Which are nice, and I like them. I like to walk around. Last, last time I actually had a tour. I showed a, a, a relative new viewer... Uh, you know, what I've done in Minecraft, and they were actually, like, impressed. They're like, wow, that's pretty cool what you've done here. Um, but what I think I want to do next is, I mean, this is just, this is just me talking. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'll end up, uh, not having this do be my next thing. But I think I want to do one of two things. Either automation, so for example, maybe something that will automatically harvest crops or harvest food for me, or do things automatically, which seems like a pretty cool thing in the game. I don't know how complicated it is. But it seems like something that might be fun to do, so I don't have to manually come back and do this all the time. Okay, that's number one. Um, number two is I want to prepare to go back to the nether, which I think people have wanted to see for a long time, and I never did. I never went back um, for various reasons, you know, and I think if I'm going to go back to the nether, I, need, I have a lot of preparation to do in particular. I don't want to go back to the nether without enchanted armor. Because last time I went there, my armor did not hold up, and I died, and it pissed me off. I lost so much stuff. You know, I lost my enchanted pickaxe, which is, like, the best item in my inventory. I lost it. Very frustrating. So before I go back to the nether, I want to be prepared this time. Now, I have a ton of enchantment books, and I think that I could probably build some really awesome enchanted armor. But I think you need a ton of experience points to do that. So in order to do that, I think what I need to do then is find a way to gain experience relatively fast. Which I don't know what that's going to be. So maybe that's the next thing, is how do I gain experience fast? Is there a way to do it? Um, and if there is, great. I'd like to know what it is and see if we can set that up. Now, in addition to all of that that I just mentioned, okay? Um, got these potatoes and replant. In addition to all of what I just mentioned, um, there's underwater temples that I've never been to. It was one of the first things that I saw when I started playing Minecraft again um, <clears throat> was these underwater temples that looked really cool. And the game was telling me you should go to one and all that. And I never did because I didn't have the capability to breathe underwater. Now, since then, I'm almost positive I've found enchantment books that have things like underwater breathing capability. But I never did it. So maybe that's something else that I could focus on because it's something I haven't done yet is find a way to actually be able to breathe extended underwater so I can go in underwater exploration in these temples. Because I actually believe that there's glowstone and stuff under the water that I could use to build some really nice things. Right? So these are just some of my ideas, all right? Just some of my ideas. I don't know if anyone else has any better ideas, um, you know, than what I just mentioned of things that I should be doing right now. But I'm going to be very open to those ideas depending on what people have to say. Um, but, you know, everything I just mentioned is time-consuming. I mean, we're talking probably multiple streams for each idea that I just had, right? Which is cool because, you know, when I play Minecraft, I only play about once a week, if that now. But when I do... It's always fun to do something different and have some advancement and or something neat added to the to my my home. So maybe now actually having some cool enchantment, enchanted armor that makes me badass, I can breathe underwater, I can go to the nether and have no problem with flame would be pretty sweet, you know? But I think there's a ways to go to, for me to get there, so. All right, Xbox One is garbage. Just did 100 bit cheer. Thank you very much for the cheer. Xbox One is garbage. I appreciate that. Grab all this. I think we got more potatoes here. We do. I think potatoes are for eating, right? You eat them or you cook them to make make different dishes. What the hell happened? I don't know what happened. Psst. For some reason, this patch fucked up. Well, I can't plant a, a tomato there. A tomato. Yeah, I guess I can't plant a tomato there because I can't plant a tomato. I don't have them. I can't plant a potato there either, which is what I meant to say. I don't know how the hell I confused those two. All right, let's tear this up. 
A couple people contributed. Let's see here. So, Monster03 subscribed to the channel. Thank you, Monster03, for the sub. Uh, the Pwncake sub for two months. Thank you very much, the Pwncake, for two months of sub uh, subscription. That's appreciated. I got an anonymous dollar tip saying your main goal in the nether should be to find another fortress to find blaze enemies in order to kill them and progress in the game. You should go in with minimal supplies until you make a good path to the fortress. My problem is anonymous tipper. Thank you for the tip, by the way. Um, I can't... Oh, it's my horse. I thought that was an enemy. I was like, what the fuck? I cannot die. I have 35 levels of experience that I need to enchant stuff. I keep dying and losing all my experience. And this is a major problem. Is I grind experience and then I die before I use it. And I get completely fucked. And I can't have that happen anymore. So, if I'm going to go to the nether, I have to go prepared. Because I'm not going to fucking die. I refuse to die. I'm not going to do it again, man. I'm not. So, I understand what you're saying. Go in minimal so if you die... You don't lose anything. I will lose an insane amount of experience points. And I'm not going to lose them. It takes too long to regain them for me to lose them again. So, that's that. Okay. Thank you to Almond745, who subscribed. Thank you, Almond, for the sell. And Mr. Papa Veracherry said, If you think you would like to learn automation, I could teach you Redstone. Do you still want to improve building style? Something that may, might not be practical, but looks nice. Honestly, right now... Making my building look better, I'm not too care I don't really care about. Just being honest. I don't think it's a big deal. In the long run, maybe it's something I will want to do. For now, it's not anything I'm interested in. But redstone mastery, like learning how to use redstone and putting in automation and stuff, yeah, that would be neat. I don't know how complicated it is, but I definitely think that would be a cool thing. Alright, let me dump all this stuff. Knows nobody just did a 500 bit cheer says, I'm getting a 4K TV next week. How much of a difference will it be going from 720p? Well, first of all, I think going from 720p to 1080p is actually a pretty big jump. Like, last console gen and now this console gen, how games are running at different uh, qualities and the like. So, you are probably, if you're going from uh, 720p to, 10, to 1080, and now, it, the other thing is, if you go 4K, you're going to be like, oh my god, you know, it's going to be so fucking different. But... I don't know, like, the thing is, when you say 4K, most games don't j run in 4K. Um, and if they do, the frame rate tanks, which is why I would never do it right now. And movies in 4K are expensive, and I, I don't do those either. So, I don't know 4K-wise what the big jump will be, but just 1080p is sweet. 1080p is really good, man. Huh. <laughs> So, Knows Nobody's the top cheerer. Orcs or Dorks is asking me if I'm going to play uh, Warcraft 3 Remastered for PC. I mean, it's the last thing on my mind. I don't do PC gaming. If they remastered it, it probably is going to be a resource hog, which I can't do on my PC while, while capturing. Um, probably not. I, I honestly don't think it's going to be anything anyone wants to see either, you know? Warcraft 3 is some pretty old news from the, what is it, the fucking 90s or early 2000s? I can't even remember when it came out. Uh. Pablo Vera says there's a lot to learn about redstone there's very simple stuff but there's very complex I guess we could start start with simple like what would be a really simple redstone thing that I could do that would benefit me you know that would be pretty cool to figure out and then go from there oh I know the, the basics now maybe I could think of really advanced things you know what I mean the other thing is like I said I have 35 experience I don't know if I want to use it to enchant something like right now so I don't fucking lose it if I die. I don't want to die, obviously, but it seems like it's very hard to prevent. <laughs> Since every time I get, like, 30 experience, I die again. <clears throat> okay. So, my garden's looking good. I don't think I want to do anything. I think my fountain for now is fine. Eventually, maybe I'll change it. But for now, I think it looks pretty sweet. My new... <coughs> skeleton horse <clears throat> He's doing pretty good Look at that My skeleton horse He's just chilling And he's already dead So he doesn't have to eat <laughs> Convenient I'm wondering when it's gonna rain Cause the last time I played The entire time Over two hours It didn't rain Typically it rains At least once a session And it hasn't So I'm wondering When it's gonna rain For my next fishing trip Mexican Surgeon asked, if someone donated a gaming PC, would I play PC games? If someone donated a gaming PC, which, number one, I would say right now would be a horrible idea because I need the money to pay my taxes. 
But in the long term, let's say someone donated a gaming PC that I could play, what I would do is I would use my main PC right here for the capture and streaming, and the gaming PC would run the games. And I would look more into PC gaming. I probably would, like, try to do maybe, like, a 70-30 a split. Probably I'd still try to play most major releases on console. However, I would look for what ones will have an actual PC release and probably get some of those on PC just for the sake of seeing how well they run on PC. Like, for example, Rage 2, probably going to run out exceptionally well on PC. Because it's from id Software. So that would be one I would definitely consider, you know. But that is something I'm not considering whatsoever. Like, I I wouldn't even accept that. I was like, no, if you're going to donate me a gaming PC, just, you know, help me with, with my taxes so I can keep my house. Let's be practical here, you know? <clears throat> your mate create asks, don't I have a second PC? The PC that I have that you're talking about is a basic PC that is very weak. It's not a strong PC. It was my alternate PC that I had in my bedroom when I lived in Connecticut. And it can't really even handle basic video editing. Like, that's the best it can, the, the, the best it can do. Um, but no, it would not be good for capturing, streaming, and all of that. It's a very old PC. That PC I bought, I believe I bought that PC when I moved into my condo in Connecticut, which would have been around 2009, 2010. So you're talking, it's a nine-year-old PC and you think it's going to be able to do anything? <laughs> no. Okay. Cody Carl Schuster, what about the PC in your closet? I just, same question, I just answered that. You're talking about, well, actually, I don't know what PC you're talking about. The original PC that I had, that I, when I moved here, I was using, that thing's dead. That thing stopped working. It was dying. It wasn't even fucking working properly, which is why I had to buy this one. The other PC you're talking about is nine plus years old and is not good. It was, it's not a gaming PC at all. It doesn't even have like a, I don't think it has a dedicated graphics card. It's got all that integrated graphics and shit. Oh, yes, Black Mage Sea Type, I'm aware that somehow a sheep spawned on the barn roof, which is pretty funny. I'm not really too concerned with getting it down. It seems to be doing all right up there. I don't know why, because it's not eating. So I don't know how the hell it's still alive, but it seems to have been alive for quite a while. There he is. He comes and he looks at the other sheep and he says, oh shit, how do I get down? And he can't figure it out and he turns around and goes back up. There he goes. <laughs> He's an idiot. Uh, no, Oingo Boingo, I did not see any Mortal Kombat 11 character leaks. I'm not really paying attention. So. Oh, Sour Patchy cheers. Your house of Minecraft is looking a little bare. You need some sound panels on the wall. And you should make a Minecraft cat. How about no? How about this is my fantasy Minecraft life? I don't need to simulate my real life. Trust me. I have enough of my real life. I don't need to simulate it more. <laughs> okay. Cody Coles, if you're not using the PC, why don't you sell it? You mean the the nine-year-old PC? Well, when I when it wasn't nine years old, I always kept it as a backup PC just in case. Because remember, back in the day, I didn't do any capturing or encoding on my PC. It was all with the camera. So that PC was my backup desktop PC in case my desktop died at home. I would use that to upload videos, which I did do a couple times, actually. Um, when I moved here, I took it with me just, again, as like a base backup PC. But I keep it because it's just old and it's not worth anything. That thing is worth, like, nothing. If I went to sell it, I'd probably, at tops, make, like, a hundred bucks, you know? I made more money selling my DVDs downstairs than I would selling that old-ass PC. Straight Cash Homie did a thousand bit cheer and says, I'm so hyped for Double May Cry 5. What's your favorite in the series? I mean, I can't answer that. I mean, I only played them all once. You know what I mean? Like, I remember Double May Cry 1 and 3. I, th I think 3 was a better streamlined game. Uh, 4, I think, was good, too. But I can't, I honestly, I mean, being honest, I don't really remember much about them. I only played them once. It was years ago. So it's hard for me to put my finger... Oh, this is my favorite one or whatever. Yeah, I don't even really remember them. It's been so long since the Devil May Cry game too, you know? Okay, so thank you, Straight Cash Homie, for the 1,000-bit cheer. I appreciate it. <clears throat> okay. Oh, uh, no, I am not converting my DVD library into digital, but here's the deal. Because someone just asked me about this. Your mate Cray asked me about this. He said, I didn't hear you were selling your DVDs. You know, what's going on? About three weeks ago now, I sold, I'm not even exaggerating, probably about half of my Blu-ray collection to try to make some money. This was before, uh, you know, my payment from Twitch had come through and all that, and I needed money for bills. 
So I sold about half my Blu-ray collection. And the bottom line is, at one point, it was really nice to have all those Blu-rays. Now I don't really need them, and the reason being, everything's on-demand digital. I have Netflix, and we have Hulu. So between those two services, I can get a ridiculous amount of movies on-demand that I had on Blu-ray, and I don't need these anymore. So I ended up selling a ridiculous bunch of them to make some extra cash to pay bills. So there you go. But no, I'm not, conver I'm not converting. I have them all anyway. Will you play the highest difficulty of the new Devil May Cry? Ask the Pwn Cake. No. I will play the standard difficulty. All right. What do you guys think? What should I be doing? Should I just go for a walk? Where's my map? I put it away, didn't I? Let's go grab my map. I want to see what I've actually charted, what I haven't charted. Did I sell the Blu-rays eBay or thrift shop? A thrift shop. Thrift shop. I made about I made about two hundred bucks. It's I mean it's way under value of what they actually are worth, but you know, it's a thrift shop. So I got what they pay for. You know what they pay for it, and uh, you know I made I did make some money. It wasn't a ton of money. I wish it was way more, but I got what I got, and I put it to a good use, paying bills. So. Maybe I should have said due south because the map isn't populated. Remember, because this is a new map, I lost my last fucking map. <laughs> yeah, I know. I probably, you're right. Uh, Rabbi Pineapple Stein said so you probably could have got a fuck ton off eBay or Craigslist. Right. Craigslist is a creeper place where you don't even know who the fuck is there, if you can trust them or not. That's a no-go. eBay, I probably couldn't put stuff on eBay because people would troll me. They would find me and troll me. Plus, with eBay, that's an insane amount of work. You know, to sell the, the DVDs and shit, to list them and everything. For, it's just, I can't do it. You know, it's not worth it. Oh, that's right. There's a big ravine over here. This is why I can't cross, because stupid fucking ravine that I fell into once and died. Remember I died over here? Fuck, man. Like, you can cross, but you gotta jump. Someone said, I feel you should, you should start enchanting just in case. Okay, I'm okay with that. You gotta... I need to figure out how. I don't know how to enchant. Nice nice horses here. Nice spotted one. I don't think I see a spotted horse yet. And a gray sheep. It's like I'm seeing rarer stuff now. Yeah, a, a wild gray sheep. Um, yeah. If someone wants to explain, like, how should I go about enchanting? What should I enchant? I'll do it. But I don't know what to do. I don't want to fuck up and waste my experience points and do stuff the wrong way. Okay. Exactly right, Super Bad Cat. Then you have to wait for stuff to sell on eBay. You have to ship it all physically, which is a major pain and expensive. It's not worth it. It's just not worth it. It's why I'm stuck with my statues that are worth a ton of money, and I can't sell them because I can't sell them on eBay, and no one around here wants them. It sucks. Mr. Bobavera says, one idea, you can move some villagers over to your home. You could use an exploit to have more villagers spawn in and get good trades by keeping only ones with good trades. You can also get unlimited resources or some things. I, it wouldn't require to build some massive village either. Yeah, how in the holy hell would I get the villagers to come to my house? How would that work? How would I actually get them over here? I don't know how that would work at all. Because they don't follow you or anything, right? Sleep. Didica to me two dollars and said, "I sold stuff on Craigslist. You can make them meet up a police station if you're scared of creeps. I never encountered a creep. Nah, dude, Craigslist is not the way to go. It's not. It's not. There's no. There's no protections. There's nothing. It's like a, a nightmare. I'm not doing that shit. Thank you for the tip, though. Let me get you up here. So we're up to four dollars in tips. Is that correct? Yes. All right. Shit. What did I click? Let's click now. There we go. Oh, let's take a look at what what do I have available for enchanting? Well, I could I could put one of my books, okay, into a piece of armor. So I could do that with the blacksmith, or I could actually legitimately do a clean enchantment, right? Blast protection, feather falling, and efficiency. Look at these. 
Fire protection, fire aspect, aqua affinity, protection three, feather falling smite, depth strider. I don't know what that means. Feather falling, blast protection, lure, and channeling. Protection, feather falling, and lure. Power, aqua affinity, flame, feather falling, blast protection, and mending. Is that it? All my tomes? I guess that's it. I guess I put them all together. So that's what I got. Mr. Papa Vera Tree said you could buy, build a minecart rail system. Or you could put a boat on the ground, push a villager in the boat, and paddle the boat to your house. What? You could build a minecart rail system where you could put a boat on the ground and push a villager into the boat and paddle the boat to your house. <laughs> so I'd have to get... Wouldn't I have to get the villager to water? Right? All right, well, thank you, Sandal, for a dollar tip. He says, enchantment. And then we got a $5 troll tip. So thanks for all the tips tonight. We're up to 10 bucks. There we go. The boat works on land. What? Why? Is that true? The boat will work on fucking land? What? What? You could row the boat floating on land, people are telling me. It's an exploit. Oh my goodness. What happened with this game? <laughs> okay. Roy King Tree Tree says, have you had anything more major any more major snowfalls in Washington? It's been really bad in the Midwest. No. We are good. We're actually very good right now. Uh, no snow and temperatures have been around freezing at night, but above freezing all day. So we haven't had any ice or anything. We've been really good. We, you know, we're hoping now. It's going to start to warm up. It'll become spring. No more winter for us. We had that snow. That was enough. <laughs> a fucking land boat. It works. A land boat. Oh, my God. That is really stupid. That is really dumb. I don't know if I want... I don't, I'm not really too worried about the villagers, though. Like, I, what I really want is an enchanted pickaxe or enchanted armor. That's really what I need. Because I lost my enchanted pickaxe. Respiration and blast protection. Unbreaking. Projectile protection. That's it. Everything else is the stupid weapons. and, and I have a million bows. It's fucking ridiculous how many bows I have. <laughs> it's pretty crazy. I don't know where my actual good bow is. I think it's fucking in here randomly somewhere. There's my enchanted sword. Unbreaking three. I don't know where my actual good bow is anymore. I didn't. I know I didn't lose it. Oh, there it is. Unbreaking flame power mending and punch. <laughs> the poem cake cheers. Says my friend Kevin says Minecraft isn't realistic. He plays a lot of it and nothing surprises him anymore. Okay then. <laughs> I know the villagers have enchanted items, but the ones that I found that they had, they were offering me, I wasn't too interested in, honestly. So, I don't know. Plus, it's probably going to be a major pain in the ass to get a villager back here in a boat. Where is my boat? I know I still have one. Ugh. Sorry, guys. I know I still have one. No? Did I lose my... Maybe I lost my boat. Maybe I gotta make a new one. I think I lost my boat. I do not see it anywhere. Well, for a boat, you just need wood, right? Different kinds of wood. See what you need. Uh, let's see. 
I need a wooden shovel. Okay, I made a boat. Good. I got a boat. Got my boat back. Would it really be worth it to go get that villi a villager to bring him here? It's a little bit of a pain in the ass, but it's pretty far away. It's right at the very edge of the map there. That's the village. And if I remember correctly, it's not a straight way to go. Like, you got to go up and down ele big elevated hills. So I don't even know how I get the boat because the boat doesn't gain or, or lose elevation, right? It has to be flat. I don't think there's a flat. Oh, shit. It's finally raining. Time to do a fishing trip. I don't think there's a flat path between the village and here. Okay. Time for a fishing trip. The dirt, dirty bird, or the birdie dirt, I actually did explore a lot of the map. The problem is I died and I lost my map. This is a new map that doesn't have any of this stuff populated. Here we go. Okay. Fishing trip time. Oh! Fishing excursion. All right. So, Mr. Papa Vera says, Fishing is one way to get enchanted books. Uh, trading is another way. There's getting XP to enchant your own books. You can get XP with smelting, fighting mobs, or mining ores. The problem is I have an auto smelter now. So my auto smelter apparently don't get experience from doing it, right? Damn it. All right, Straight Cash Show Me did 100 bit cheer. He says, How have you and Cap been? I believe everyone is trying to help when it got rough for you financially. I've enjoyed the content. I mean, we're doing what we can. Cat's working a bunch. I'm working, a, you know, as much as I can. And we're doing all we can. And we're just basically waiting and biding our time. We want to see this month with the special events and stuff I'm going to do, how much I can raise. We're waiting to hear how much I owe. We're waiting to hear what options the government's going to give us. So it is what it is. And right, right now, honestly, like, we're about to start planning mode for our trip to Connecticut, which looks like it's going to be in April now. Um, and that's going to be, like, our priority because we know everything else work-wise, we're doing what we can. So why sit here and stress constantly about it when there's nothing I can do to control anything, right? It's out of my hands at this point until we know what, what's going to happen. So we'll see. Cody Carl's like, what's your, my favorite thing to do when I'm not streaming? Oh, a lot of things. I like just hanging out with Kat, talking. I like watching TV and stuff with her. We've been watching this fun show called The Incredible Dr. Pole. It's about a veterinarian out based in Michigan. Uh, but he's like a livestock uh, veterinarian. He deals with small animals, but also like big cows and fucking horses and steer and sheep and goats and all kinds of crazy shit that I've never even seen before. So we've been watching that a lot. Um... You know, we're watching other stuff together. And then when we go out, our days out are great. Where we actually get to spend some time out and about doing stuff. So that's really what I, I do most of the time when I'm out, out offline. Or, like I told you guys, sometimes at night I will grind in a mobile game or two. But really, it's not. It's become way less of a focus for me, that kind of stuff. I don't really bother with it that much anymore. Ben Box for Charity said, Vote for Andrew Yang. He'll give everyone 1000 in universal basic income. I don't even know what the hell that means. But okay. Sounds like politics to me. What was that? I just got something. I don't even know what it was. Got a bottle. Ricky KG says it would be a good idea to bring cats to all your favorite restaurants in Connecticut. Well, yeah. The, the idea is definitely I want to have her to try Vinny's Pizza, which is the pizza that I absolutely love. It's the one I grew up with. But outside of Vinny's Pizza, um, I want to take her to Bearsley Zoo, which is my favorite zoo I've ever been to, even though there's other ones bigger and bigger and better. I like Bearsley Zoo because I grew up going to that zoo. And she loves animals, so it's going to be really fun to go to the zoo. And, of course, spending time with my parents. My cat loves cats, and my parents have three cats. So she's going to be p playing with them and, you know, just doing general general fun stuff when we're there. So it's going to be – I think it's going to be a good time. It's going to be a time that we'll get some relaxation when otherwise we're super stressed about the house and the taxes and everything. It'll be a way for us to – for at least a few days just disconnect from all that shit and just try to have a good time with, with my parents in Connecticut, you know. It's going to be a good thing. No, we're not. No, no, no. A good RPG says, are we going to drive into New York City together? No. When we go there, we're just going to be in Connecticut with my parents and just doing local stuff. That's it. We're not going to New York or anything crazy. No. We don't have money for that anyway. 
I got some boots. Okay. No, we're not going clubbing or bar hopping. Neither of us like to do that. Neither of us are those kind of people. <laughs> Mr. Bravo Versus, the big update coming that will be fit. That will be fixed. In the meantime, you can craft yourself a switch. Crouch and place the switch to the side of the hopper that is under the furnace. Um, Mr. Bravo Versus, are you continuing saying something? Because I missed your whole first part you said. I didn't see it. Yeah. Sorry, man. I was talking with people and I didn't see it. We'll be fly yeah, we're going to be flying in into, into New York. We don't know where yet. JFK, LaGuardia, or whatever. Because there's only like a couple airports in Connecticut, and they're nowhere near where my parents live. In fact, it's a longer drive. If I flew into a Connecticut airport, it would be a longer drive from the Connecticut airport to my parents' house than if we went from New York. So... All these fishies. Yes, I will be streaming and playing the new Pokemon game later this year, Venom Symbiote. Yes, I will be. Apparently, Mr. Bob Bavera is saying there's a way to get, you take my smelter that I built and make it turn on and off with a redstone switch so I can get the experience from it, which is pretty crazy. I should probably do that. Since I am farming for experience in order to enchant stuff. Oh, man. What is up, King of Hypocrisy? Any ideas what I'll be playing for the special event? Asks Michael. I got a few ideas. Probably some Street Fighter. Probably something that's more relaxing and chill. Like maybe a Battle Royal. Like Blackout is usually pretty relaxing and chill. Um... And fun, too, and funny to watch a lot of the time. Um, I want to do some kind of, like, a classic retro game that I've never done before. Maybe I was thinking, like, Donkey Kong Country 1 or 2 would be something neat to do for a few hours. Because it would kill a lot of time, and it's something I've never done before. It would be challenging and fun to watch, I think. Plus, if I do well in it, then people will be more motivated to, you know, tip, I think. Um, that's just a few ideas. Street Fighter, chill stuff. Like, you know, like, mine, uh, mine, maybe Minecraft, or maybe Blackout, um, more like a classic platformer. I also want to have a segment where maybe just for an hour I talk to everyone, just kind of like a and a you know? Something like that. Apex Legends, I could, I could do a segment of Apex Legends, but the thing is, you know... Uh, that game I could play like for a stream and that's it. So I don't know if I want to make it like a major focus. Maybe do it for like an hour or two tops, you know? I mean, the bottom line is if I'm going to stream from 10 to 10, which is kind of what I'm, I'm planning, 10 a.m. to 10 p.m., you know, when you say with breaks, it'll probably be at least 10 hours of gaming. So you got to figure if I play Street Fighter for one to two hours, if I play uh, Battle Royal for one to two hours, if I just talk to you guys for an hour, or I do platforming for like two to three hours, like a retro platformer, and then I do some others. You see, it'll be good, like, have a schedule, try to fill it in. People coming by all day at different times to hang out and everything. What Street Fighter? Oh, it would definitely be classic Street Fighter. It's definitely gonna be classic Street Fighter. There's no way I'll play Street Fighter 5 or nothing. Real talk, play Apex, I wish, but that's never going to happen. Thanks for the cheer, though. Straight Guest Homie did a 100-bit cheer and says, Batman Forever or Batman Dark Tomorrow would be awesome and funny. Yeah, I don't know if I want to play bad games. <laughs> I don't know about Dark Tomorrow, but ba Batman Forever is terrible. Oh, uh, yes, Bulletproof. I saw both of the old Hellboy films, and I am aware there's a new one releasing uh, in April, but I'm not going to see it. <laughs> Much like all movies, I'm not going to see it. I mean, I didn't see Infinity War until December when it was released on Netflix, so. No, I do not have any tattoos. Chidori to me a dollar said, don't vlog, just focus on family. You don't want psychos micro-analyzing your private life and be happy. Exactly right, Chidon. 
trust me, maybe at the most, I'll take a couple photos that I'll share with everyone on the internet. But I am not going to be vlogging when I'm in Connecticut. That's not the point of the trip. Actually, the point of the trip is to de-plug, unplug from all of this drama shit and everything from the internet to forget about the taxes, to forget about all that shit, and just to have time with my family and cat and everyone together at, for the first time ever. That's the focus. Now, oh, I'm going to vlog everything. Not to make money. Make money. Uh, fuck that. Enough of that. I'm done with that. I'm seriously done with that. Okay. No, I didn't hear any controversy about the Captain Marvel main actress and the movie looking bad. I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> a good RPG is a good game for the marathon would be Xeno Gears. I did play Xeno Gears, the original on PS1. I liked it, but even I, I know that's a slow moving RPG. There's no way that's going to do well. No way. Mr. Papa Vera just chooses that you can make an XP farm with the Spider Monster dungeon under your house. So that element structure is already made. It's basically making a room a little bigger and using a water funnel to funnel mobs to you to kill, but in a way that mobs are trapped and can't run and free ch and chase you. I don't even remember where the spider tunnel, spider tunnel is. I got a tome, finally. An enchanted tome. So I don't, honestly, I don't think I'm going to be able to do that because I don't even know where the spiders are down there. That was a long... Dude, that was like a month and a half ago when I found that. Okay. Sour Patchy Juicy, how about instead of a tattoo, you get earrings as a sub goal? You would look epic. I, I don't think I want any kind of metal piercing my body or anything like that. Plus, the thing is, I have, like, incredibly sensitive skin. I do. It's so ridiculously sensitive that maybe if I got earrings, I guarantee you would get, like, fucking infected and shit. <laughs> oh, yeah, Blood Mage C-Type, trust me. Outside of the, the things, that the common things that I've mentioned, there's no way I'm telling anyone about the kind of stuff that Kat and I will be doing. During our trip, trust me. Yeah, I'm not. I'm, I'm wiser than that. I'm just like, oh, yeah, I'm going to be here on this day. And you should meet up with us. No, no, no. <laughs> Absolutely not. No, I never beat Xeno Gears. I got to the end. I think it was like the, the next to last dungeon or, or the final dungeon. It was such a crazy grind. I got bored. And I never beat the game. The thing is, I really liked the game. If I remember, the game had voice acting. It was like the first major RPG I'd ever played that had like a significant amount of voice acting in it. Oh, uh, the Broody Dirt. I have not watched Game of Thrones in a million years. I watched it when it was new for like the first four seasons. I never finished season four and then I never got back to it. I mean, I would like to someday and Kat is actually a fan of it, but... That's something for the future, I guess. Blind Mitch T-Type says, When is the retrospective event? Where should I submit a suggestion? Actually, I'm thinking of doing the retrospective event sooner rather than later. Originally, I was going to do it late March. I think I'm actually going to do it this the third week. So that would be... Either the 11th, 12th, 13th, or 14th. One of those days, I think I'm going to do the retrospective event. Um, reason being, after I finish up with Shenmue 2 and then with uh, Dark Souls, I'm, I have Devil May Cry 5, and that's about it. So I'm actually going to have a lot of opportunity for a little bit of free time, and I think I'm going to do it one of those days. If you want to submit a suggestion, for now, I would say save it up. And what we will do is, if you're a patron of mine, patrons already have a thread. I'm actually going to open a new thread in a day or two where they can post up even more suggestions. Um, but if you're not a patron, I would say just hold it. And then that day of, I'm going to be taking suggestions, I, I, I think. So... I don't know, Animal Crossing. Animal, or, or Animal Crossing. Oil Bingo says, would I ever play Animal Crossing on the Switch? I don't know. I don't know if that's something I'd be interested in, honestly. Okay, let's see what I got. I didn't get too much. My book is Silk Touch 1. It's probably, like, really crappy. I didn't get that much. That was kind of a lackluster fishing trip. I only gained two levels. 
That did not last very long. Usually the rain lasts about 24 hours. That one did not even last 24 hours. It's kind of disappointing. I was hoping it would last longer. The Birdie Dirt says, I have, a, I have a, a feeling someone is going to tip a rather large amount pretty soon. Well, Birdie Dirt, I haven't caught wind of anything. No one said a word about that except for you. So unless you know something I don't, I mean, it would be nice. You know what I'm trying to do this month with my, with, you know, taxes and everything, but I guess we'll see. I guess we shall see. All right, let me put a lot all this crap away that I just got. No, dude, why do I have so many saddles? This is getting insane now. I have so many saddles, it's out of control at this point. <laughs> Holy shit. Uh, nice troll cheer, so goodbye. And Illusion God cheer said, Would you consider having a Pokemon character as your couch mascot? Maybe. I don't see why not. Um... And somebody adding me to the 200-bit cheers at Tig Biddies everywhere. I don't know what the hell he say, said that for, but thank you for the 200-bit cheer. All right. I got to start using my third-level storage now. This one has Unbreakable and Luck of the Sea 2. Right? But no lure. Unbreaking 3, Luck of the Sea 2. Damn, I forgot what was on my other one. I did, I forgot. I did a vlog at Vinny's. A good RPG says I actually did a vlog at Vinny's. I don't even remember doing a vlog at Vinny's. I had no recollection that I even did that. I seriously don't remember that at all. Wow. You know, I've been doing this for so long. It's hard for me to keep track of a lot of stuff. I didn't even know I had ever done that. Okay. All right, I think we're... Oh, wait. It's all this crap down here I didn't see. Oops. Oops. Yeah, another saddle. Sheesh. Oi, okay. Good. Oh, I see Black Mage C type. Yeah, save up your suggestions for the day of. The day of, I'll be taking suggestions on stream for sure. Absolutely. Or if you want, I mean, this is totally up to you. You can go to my forums and you can make a thread yourself and just say suggestions for the upcoming retrospective stream. You know, for non patrons just make a general thread and see if people will post up. Almost no one uses the forums, though, so. Alright. What the hell should I do, guys? I'm open to suggestions at this point. Oh, man. Astro Plays TV did 100 bit chairs. Can I get a single yeet? There you go. Have I got any diamonds? I only have about five diamonds. That's it. I've got almost none. To the nether? I'm, that's really stupid. I'm not going to the nether. No, I would not get a mohawk. Color my sheep? Why would I want to do that? Try kidnapping a villager with the land bow? I mean, I could try. I don't know how it's going to work. You guys want me to try that? Go for a walk, go see the villagers. I'm in a food.
This way. Straight this way. Straight Cash Show Me says, I'm suggesting Max Payne 2, but a brand new Cooking with the King would be amazing as well. Yeah, I think Max Payne 2 eventually. I don't know if I want to do it now. I just did Max Payne last year. But I think people would like to see Max Payne 2 eventually too. I agree. See what I mean? Look at all these hills and shit. How would I ever get the boat over this? How on earth would I get the boat over all this stuff? It's all elevated. I don't think a boat can go over this shit. See? Uh, trying to run to the village as quickly as I can. Astro play. Cheers said you didn't even you didn't even yeet, and then he insulted me, and now he's banned. Well, that was quick. <laughs> I don't even know what you're talking about. What the fuck is a yeet? I don't even know what the fuck you're talking about. All right, I'm not some fucking imbecile. I don't know what the fuck you're referencing. All right, get the fuck out. <laughs> not an imbecile. No, I'm not doing more cooking with the king. No. No. Wait, I'll think about it. No. No, I'm not doing it. See the problem? Now there's a river. How am I going to get the boat across land and then across a river? It's not possible. I'm going to end up drowning the villager. See? There's no way. There's no fucking way I can get a villager through here. You got to cross water. There's no even a land, land to do it. You have to cross the water. Yep. So I can't do it. <laughs> a cow almost went in the cave. A cow in a cave. Okay. Just a little further. It's actually a cool color sheep. It's like light brown. I don't think I've seen that color yet. La 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 la. I just realized I didn't bring any wheat with me. Oh well. The whole point is to try to kidnap a villager. Do I like Northern or Southern California better? NorCal is where all, a lot of the top players came from. I don't know. I haven't been in California enough times to make that distinction. So, All right. So how am I going to do this? There's a zombie in here. See what I mean about this shit? I show up and all the zombies going to kill the villagers. Fuck off, stupid zombie. I gotta find the ones that'll trade, right? The ones that'll trade good stuff. That's the one I wanna keep. No. Cleric. Leather worker. He'll give me a pair of pants. He'll give me arrows. Shepherd gives me the shears. Farmer will just give me, like, food items. Who am I looking for? What type am I looking for? What do you guys think? Who am I trying to get? Oh my god, look. They all ran aside. The toolsmith? Is this who I want? The toolsmith? Because he'll give me enchanted tools? Maybe this is who I want. Here, I'm gonna stand here so he can't get inside. 
Where did he go? My eyes just started burning, by the way. Where the fuck did the toolsmith go? Oh. He vanished. Huh? Oh, fucking shit! My eyes started burning at the worst time. A fucking zombie attacked me from behind. My eyes are burning. I can't see. Ah! I can't see! Ah! I can't see! Ah! <laughs> oh, shit! Was that the Fletcher? Huh? Well, no, was that the toolsmith? Huh? Did that motherfucker sneak in here? He did! That motherfucker snuck in! He snuck right by me! That's you sneaky son of a bitch! You sneaky SOB! Oh my god. Oh, my eyes. Sometimes they just burn for no reason. It's fucking annoying. Alright. 